So we've got this conga here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to bring this into the mix and just circle uh, cycle between 25 and 33 here. Let's unmute that. What I wanted to start on 25, this little riff here, but at the moment it's uh, starting on the uh, the fourth fourth beat of the 25th bar. So I want to start on the first beat of the 25th bar. A couple of ways of doing this, we can uh, get our scissor tools uh, cut there. Uh, delete that a little bit, get the pointed tool, move it back. Or we can go in and edit the audio, which is what I want to show you right now. So double click onto the uh, the audio region, uh, and we will get this. Okay. What we need to do is move from track to file, and what you need to ensure is that you need to click on edit make sure these two are off if it's off the screen just keep scrolling down and up it it will appear uh, so we need uh, snapped zero uh, snap edits to zero crossings that needs to be unticked and lock position in track when moving anchor very importantly let's take that off i'm going to show you what that does in a moment what we want to happen is when we move the anchor and the beginning of the region that we can see there when we move that over like so we want the audio within this region to move back to the beginning okay so we're editing the region but we're saying this is where we want the region to start uh, we want the region to start this piece of audio so I'm going to do that again and uh, so it was like this. So I'm inside here. I'm moving the region up and the audio will slip back. So let's just move it there for the moment for argument's sake. Can you see that's got that gap? It's moved back. Let's move that up there. Bosh, there we go. Okay, let's take that back. Can you see that little anchor? Okay, good. What I'm going to do is click lock position in track when moving anchor. So this has the opposite effect when we move the anchor and the region instead of the audio moving back the region will move forward which is sometimes handy uh, in most cases you don't want that to happen in most cases you want the audio to move back so make sure that that is unclicked unticked and then we'll try that again and bosh there it is Put a bit of reverb on it. Let's just check that bang in time. Uh, I'm going to get my tools actually because I don't think that's right at the beginning. Let's go. No, it's not. So let's click on that, get rid of that little bit there. Hopefully, yours was better edited than mine. Let's just move that again. And this is a wave film. Obviously, this is like a conga hit there. This is how audio looks. Uh, I'm just going to move that. I've just zoomed up there. So I'm just using this little slidey tool there to get right to the beginning. Sometimes you have to move side to side to, to get right up close. But that's better. Maybe a little bit loud. And that is editing audio.